Hey beauties, it is Brandy Giz. I'm back on your screen. I am back here in Chicago. It feels so good to be back, y'all. It really do. Um, I'm holding my camera right now. But it just feels so good to be back at home. I praise God because we came back to frigid temperatures. I mean, below, below where people's pipes were freezing and everything. Um, thankfully, when we um, got home, hold on, let me get my trap on. Hey beauties, it is Brandy Giz. I am back. So thankful to be in the land of the living. <laughs> um, I, we just got back from Huntsville, Alabama because we had some crazy weather going through the different um, parts. But we are back, yes, and I'm so glad to be home. Although it is like really cold, we came back to some frigid temperatures and everything. Uh, a lot of people's pipes burst. Um, you know, when it gets cold outside, you have to make sure you, you keep your water running and all that stuff. And I don't know too much about it, but I, what I do know is that God kept us and we didn't have any uh, issues with our water um, when, we, when we got back from Alabama because we were gone Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and we came back Monday. Yeah, like Monday night. So I'm just so thankful that God just covered us and you know protected our home my neighbor i want to give a special shout out to her um miss helen for um shoveling my snow while i was shoveling our snow while we was gone so i just really want to say thank you to her uh who else i just want to thank all of you all for um your love your support your condolences your words of encouragement your prayers it was really helpful and um i really do appreciate that so that does not go unnoticed i just want to say thank you thank you to everyone who played some part in you know lifting us up and helping us to you know get through this so with that being said uh, i am back ready to make more content and uh i met what is crazy i met i don't know if she's a subscriber right so i'm at my brother's weight right and um so many emotions and whatnot and i was just looking at him in the casket and just thinking of different stories of what we you know what i can remember you know growing up and whatnot but uh this young lady had uh came and she sat next to me and she introduced herself i believe her name was um well, I'll tell you her name in a minute. But she told me that she works with my brother. My brother worked at Bowen down in Huntsville. And I think she said she worked at the time, the night shift or something like that. I can't remember. But uh, she said, and what was funny is that we would sit at our desk and watch YouTube. And she, I think she said, she sat at her desk, she watched YouTube. And he was like, you should watch my sister. And I'm like listening to the story which is really funny but at the same time you know you do YouTube and someone mentions it as far as me I try to stay you know grounded and everything and I'm just like I to me I think like YouTube is fun but you it's tripped out when people when they kind of like how's it go make sure you don't walk on the rug you did a, you did a good job I think put your, don't, don't walk on the rug but like I was saying, it's funny when people say they watch you. For me, it's kind of cringy. Like, oh my God, I don't believe you watch me. Because I don't know, I feel bashful. But anyway, so um, she, so she told me, she said, he told me to watch you on YouTube. So we sitting at our desk and we watching you on YouTube. And I'm like, oh my God. But at the same time, it felt good and it felt warm because, you know, Although, you know, men don't be watching women's video. Well, to me, I feel like women don't be, men don't be watching like my vlogs. That's what I think. I don't even know. I don't even look at the analytics or anything like that. But I didn't think my brother watched me. From time to time, he probably will. But just for him to mention me and to tell somebody to watch my channel, it meant a lot. And she just introduced herself. I believe her name was Carletta. And if you are watching this video, girl, just hit the 
just let me know down in the comments with a heart or something um but i don't know i don't know if it's all the time she watches or was it just that in that moment but i really do appreciate you coming to me it, it i can't even explain it but at the time like i said so many emotions were taking place but when she came and sat next to me and she said what she said it was like um like warmth to let me know like i can't explain it but <laughs> it was just like how do you say a sign it was just it was just heartfelt it felt good so i appreciated that um what else we although it was uh bittersweet we did feed ourselves i never went to the waffle house before i always wanted to go out here a lot of great things about it so we actually went twice my other you know everybody else went to um what's that place called the cr the cracker barrel i'm not a cracker barrel fan i went once with my ex-sister-in-law and i didn't like the food but not saying that the food isn't good i just was like no i don't want to go there anymore you know how that goes but I have so many things to talk to y'all about. I'm all over the place. But I just want to say thank you again from the bottom of my heart for your prayers, your love, your support. You know, those little words that you write down in the comment section, it, me it means a lot. Really, it does. Um, it doesn't cost anything. And I can't say it doesn't cost anything because it cost you your time. And I was just, you didn't have to do it. You could have just scrolled and kept doing what you're doing but the fact that you just left a comment or a message or voicemail email text message it really means a lot because one thing I can say everybody's gonna get a turn and it was my turn this time it, hey it might be yours the next but I pray to God that he makes me um, to have uh, compassion I pray to God that he continues to give me a, a compassionate heart for people, you know, and, and, and if you're ever going through. And if I see it on my timeline, if I see it on my timeline, I'm going to stop and take the time out and make sure that I um, give you words of encouragement or just a condolence, whatever the case may be. But life is life, you know. Um, I want to thank my pastor, Pastor Lisa Cannon. Even with her busy schedule, she stopped what she's doing and um, she she sends me text messages um, telling me I'm a praying for you and the family. Man, that meant a lot to me. That meant a lot to me, you guys. And I'm just so, I was so like so overwhelmed with love and just the support. So I'm at home. I done made some pencil beans. I had a taste for some pencil beans, some rice, and some cornbread. Yes. I want to say how country is that you know we from Chicago we always say girl you so country and I realize that a lot of people from the south kind of like don't like when you be like girl you so country because you know I know of someone that what what does that mean you know so I got to be mindful of saying that it's just to me when I say country it's like a southern thing it's just like like down to earth and I try to make sure I don't want you to or that person to think that I'm you know uh, throwing a dig or something not at all it's all it's all love baby but yeah um what else did I want to tell y'all so the Waffle House was good I love the Waffle House I love their sausages love their sausages I went to we went to this place like miss I think it's called G's soul food it was it was okay it wasn't better than Priscilla's I can't I gotta admit it wasn't better than Priscilla's but they have really good corn the meatloaf was excellent the macaroni can be a little bit thicker you know in my opinion the sweet potatoes was off the freaking chain the macaroni I mean the uh yeah the sweet potatoes were off the freaking chain y'all but um I don't think I didn't like them fried tomatoes fried green tomatoes this is like mm -mm, no but overall it was a good experience i got to meet the owner so uh with that being said i suggest you all go on over to that restaurant and support the um the business his name was mo and yeah the food was good but was it better than priscilla's in chicago <laughs> i don't know bro. but i gotta try I, you know what i wish i was there to be able to try their dressing and that would 
that would really but yeah overall um the experience down there, i've been there several times in huntsville it is a place that is it's i see it's like a lot they're building up a lot and whatnot and it's a, a decent place look like to raise your family and whatnot but yeah um don't want to go back too soon but uh yeah my nephews sean taj are down there my niece uh, is in florida so yeah i can't say i won't be back because you never you, you never never know uh what else i'm just rambling y'all y'all want to see my food i'll show y'all hold on okay this is the pinto beans my cornbread that i cut and you know i just made me some quick white rice and i made my i'm not finished making my plate uh -oh. i was gonna like really do a big meal but i was like you know what uh-uh I'm not. I was gonna do a real big meal, but I ain't feel like it, y'all. I just I'm at home chilling um, until I go back to work next week, girl. But I'm just here, just trying to get myself together. I'm about to eat this little home cooked meal of mine, and I've been eating a lot of. Um, I've been eating fruits and vegetables and stuff like that. And after that, instead of eating something sweet, I'm gonna cut up a watermelon and eat that, y'all. But yeah, your girl is here and I'm chilling. I'm about to upload this video so that you can see it's actually a snippets of the service. I wasn't able to film like I wanted to because I was in the moment. And yeah, I, girl, you, I'm just happy that I got that part because I every now and then I would think like I want, I, I'm going to film this because I need something to remember. And there's a lot of things that I just i'll forget so anyway i'll see you guys peace good morning people it's your girl bernie again and i am back i am at the car dealership because one of my lights came on in my vehicle so i figured i'd get some sleep we did make it in say thank you jesus for making this safe from huntsville alabama girl that was a drive it was snowing and raining and sleek it was a lot going on but i just dropped to my knees and thank god that we made it safe and sound all my family made it back to chicago safe so that is what's up but right now i'm in um like i told y'all the dealership just waiting on them to give me a loaner because um they need to check some things out with the vehicle all right guys Although this isn't a BMW, they gave me this loaner and I'm still grateful. Yes. All right. Oh yeah, this is nice. Let me turn this heat down a little bit. Um, damn. I'm all baby. Turn the heat on 80. Oh yeah, this is really cute. All right, let me go. Hey beauties, it's Bernie Giz. I am back. And I was told my glasses are ready. And also my car. So I need to go back home and get the other key so that they can put a battery in the remote. But um, yeah, I'm just picking up my glasses. I hope the prescription is right. So, I will see you guys a little bit later. I'm at the Ridge Mall. All right, y'all. So, I'm inside still waiting on the young lady to come out with my glasses. It's taking an awfully long time, but we shall see. I uh, called the 1 800 number and they told me that they were here. They had to ship them from Texas. I'm just waiting. I don't know why they got that uh, the gate down because it is open. But I will be back.
Okay, beauty, so I am. Y'all, I got my glasses. Mm -hmm. I feel weird with these on. But I like them. I just don't. Uh -huh. I don't know what the middle part, though. What y'all think? And there is some more that they're going to send me for free. It's not that bad out here. It's not that cold like it normally, you know, will be. So I'm going to go home so I can pick up my car. I just need to get the spare key. So that I can change the battery like I said. But overall, let's see. I like. I like, I like. Whew. Let me sit y'all sit down. I'm gonna sit y'all down even. I'm not even in my car. You know, we say car. Everybody else say car. Okay, I see y'all once I get in my car. Let me go back home. I finally made it to pick up my vehicle. Don't know where it's at. Probably outside somewhere. But yes. We shall see in a minute. He's changing out my batteries and my remote. I missed you, Bokey. <laughs> I missed my little car. Oh my gosh. Um. Yes, I got my car back. They weren't able to wash it. Well, they could have washed it, but I didn't want it washed because I don't want them to be freezing up on me. It's cold out here. The temperature now is 13 degrees. It is 438. And so I didn't mind coming out here, girl, because I wanted to stop at two stores. And that one is Walmart. That's right. I mean, not Walmart, Target. I'm going to go into Target really quick. Y'all, I had purchased, I want to say about two weeks ago, that Natrium uh, body wash. I don't know if I showed y'all on my blog, but I didn't like it. And everybody else likes it. And I was watching. Uh-oh. I was watching a young lady's channel. She's in the, the oh, dang, I'll be remembering people's names, but she's in a military. She just had a beautiful baby. I was watching her video on the way back home and she was saying that she didn't like it either. I didn't see, it didn't do anything for me. Okay, I'm gonna keep it a book. It, it, it just didn't do it for me. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to park all the way down here now. Yeah, it didn't do anything for me. Oh, y'all probably wondering, like, why is your car in the shop? Well, my car, the brake lights came on. And I don't have a 20, 24, 23 model. Right here. So, um... Yeah, the brake light had came on and they had said that. Where is my. Oh man, I left my sanitizer at home. I took it with me. But anyway, what was I saying? The brake light came on, so they had to replace the rotors and the brakes, which I was so thankful because we had looked at it. And it was like, shoot, you know, for a BMW, for some brakes, you know. That's pretty pricey. And I know everybody got like Uncle Bobo uh, or Uncle Uncle Nate that'll do your brakes for a little or nothing. I don't, I don't wanna take that chance. I've been down that road plenty of times, trust me, in my 40 something years of living. And to me, I know you might not wanna pay the dealer price, but just for me, I, I, I go to the dealer because it's just something about me. I just, mm -mm. I always have regret, buyer's regret and stuff. I ain't got to have for all of that. So, what was I coming here for? Oh, let me put my tissue back in my car. I don't know where. The one back there. The one back there. And I'm going to take back this. This is what I purchased, y'all. I don't like it at all. Mm -mm. It says the Glow Getter Multi Oil Body Wash. I didn't like it. It didn't do nothing for me and the smell is horrible. I think probably if it had uh, like a 
a bomb smell. I would have kept it. But no, ma'am. Mm -mm. Don't like the way that smells at all. And do nothing for me and it make me glow or anything. And then she was talking to the young lady I was watching on YouTube. Army Bot. Army Barbie. All right, girl, don't give me the butcher people names. But anyway, I watched her. She said and do nothing for her either. And then she was like, she's paid $20 for it. Girl, I looked at my receipt because I thought this was probably about $8.99. Girl, I looked at my receipt. It was $16. Mm -mm, we ain't having that. This one, right back. I can get me some skincare. So that's what I'm going to do. I got to get used to these glasses. These are like more so reading glasses. The glasses that I usually rock these right here which i like a company sent me these and i think they're going to be sending me some more but um i like these too because you can wear green pink any color so i like that let me get in Ooh, my, my heat don't play honey and he changed the um batteries on both of the um Well, I don't know how long they had them, but girl, just the fact that he put a battery in it. Girl, I like, like the little stuff. So once they send out the uh, customer service, I'm going to give him a good a good review. His name was Brian. He's at the Carmax in Hillside. All right. I'll see y'all. Bye. So you know my green button needed some crispy cream. I want it. I picked up some stuff I've seen. I picked up some stuff. I actually picked up some skincare products. I can show y'all right now. Um, <clears throat> this is witch hazel. This is a hydrating toner with rose water. That was like really inexpensive. And I usually use CeraVe, but I never got this. So when I seen the young lady's video, I was like, okay, I might need to try this because it's a hydrating foaming oil cleanser. It sounds like it's promising, so I got that along with some uh, facial moisturizing lotion because I've been using Black Girls. And I'm gonna try this one as well. So anti-blemish pads from my skin. This has the eucalyptus in it, I believe. Yeah. So, she, uh, she enabled me. <laughs> so, that's why I ended up going. Yes, we are influencers, but we also we watch YouTube so we can see if we like something, we're going to get it. Okay, it's taking a little bit long. They act like they're cooking the um, It's Brandy Giz. I wanted to interrupt this here vlog to share with you all an unboxing. Yes, I have an unboxing and I'm super excited about it. It is from a company I've never worked with them before. It's called AnyFashion.ru. Make sure I'm saying it right. Yes, it's from AnyFashion.ru. I've never worked with the company before. I just want to FYI that. But we will see. Hopefully, we'll develop a great relationship. So, I'm looking forward to opening this here box up for you of course it's by no other than gucci it is balling on a budget and we are going to open it up um i i didn't open it up because i was kind of busy but it came in like a plastic bag like that and then also comes in a dust cloth so let's see what we got okay so i'm going to take everything out the plastic i know y'all don't want to hear that rattle so i'll be right back i'm back it comes in a little gucci bag like so 
you put the box in there which is really nice and intact it comes with your receipts and whatnot along with the ribbon and your gift paper yeah it comes with everything if you want to gift it to somebody but that's not what we're here for we are here for this cute, cute little gucci waist bag or you yeah so yes it's this bag right here you can uh wear it as a waist bag or a chest bag like along your chest it depends on how you want to rock it do i have this on right let's see oh i got the strap backwards i wanted something different because i always go with the like hobo styles or like uh like something like this when i rock to work but I wanted something different and that's why I chose this. So, so yeah, this is the bag. It's black and then you get a flap. You have this little, it's not magnetic, but it's just a closure, which is cool. It is a small bag, so you might not fit a lot in it. You probably fit like your lipstick, maybe some um, credit cards, your cell phone and your keys and that's about it it's like one of those purses now i put my phone in the front i like the emblem the gg and you just twist it and it just opens up like i said that's cute i like the gold the gold is really nice it gives it an added touch then you have a zipper compartment right here in the top part and that's where they store your little cards and your little booklets and what else is in here some that you don't want to eat right this is your little how to care for your bag but yeah you get a compartment right here you can put like maybe some money if you don't want it inside the purse and that's cute too and on the back you can also like put your credit cards if you like this doesn't come with it it's just showing you but yeah, you get two little slots on the back. And I love the way uh, the purse is made. It's really sleek and just cute. Something different. I don't normally have in my collection. So it's like, you, you know, you can wear it. Let me stand up. Hold on. Okay, beauties. I am back. But I wanted to share with you all this bag. Now, you can normally wear it. You can wear it on your chest like so. Or you can wear it across your stomach like a fanny pack but it's not called a fanny pack it's called like a waist bag but you see it like so i'm gonna put it around my waist just to show you guys okay you can wear it like so but i don't like it this low i would probably add another hoop to it and just keep it like right below my tummy i like that look yes but i really really like this purse it's cute it's different you don't normally have to wear it you can wear it however you like and then there are some women that probably would wear it shoulder length i'm not doing it i wanted this purse strictly for yeah i wanted the purse strictly for what i got it for but i like it like this it's cute you can wear it um over your jacket and you'll look stylish yeah so i want to thank any fashion that are you for reaching out to me wanting me to share this item with you guys go on their site let me know what you think down in the comment section check it out let me know and um yeah let's get back to the vlog good morning y'all what is up it's your girl Bernie Giz, and i'm on your screen i was sitting here i just made me some breakfast some hash brown sausage two french toast sticks and two boiled eggs that's what i'm gonna have today and i'm sitting here i was reading my word before i just decided to make some breakfast so um yeah i'm reading my word i try i'm tr i've been up reading my word um that is something that i will be doing even the more daily um, try not to miss a day of reading and having my devotion. So, um, yeah, just getting back in the swing of things, girl. 
uh yep yeah, so my glasses are officially what they, i don't know i think it needs a a screw or spring i don't know but these are my favorite glasses not just because of the style they're by lamb i guess fergie made them but i like these because you know when you wear glasses you got that pair that you just love to wear not because of the look but just the fact that you can read and see words and whatnot so this these are the pair of glasses that i like to wear okay i'm gonna go i'm hungry Thank you.